The Tactical Ops event is now live in Halo Infinite for 13 days from March 8th until March 21st. And this features 10 tiers of free cosmetic rewards. Yes, you do not need the battle pass or to pay for this event at all. Completely free to earn these rewards. All you got to do is complete challenges. And these challenges are very distinctive. You can go into your challenges right now and look at the orange bannered star challenges. Those are the ones that are exclusive to the event. Every time you complete one of these challenges, you will get one of the tiers in that free tactical ops pass. Now to get more of these challenges, all you have to do is complete challenges. So once you complete them, you could view your upcoming challenges as you can see at the bottom of your screen there by pressing Y on controller. And you can go on ahead and see what challenges are coming up once you complete something that is in your main deck here well then the next one on the list will make its way in so once i complete one of these challenges on the challenge screen any of one of these four i have four since i do have the battle pass well then the next one that comes up will be the making your point challenge if i complete two of these well then one of the tactical ops challenges will appear into my deck and then i can complete it now keep in mind that these challenges are tied to the event playlist it'll be right there start at the top there in the playlist section the tactical ops tactical slayer playlist and this isn't the run-of-the-mill tactical Slayer playlist that we've all become accustomed to that's been in Halo Infinite for a couple of months now. No, there are new variants in Tactical Slayer, including things like Mangler starts and Sidekick starts. So get in there and let me know what you guys think. Obviously, my favorite part of this whole event has to be either the Emil Charm or the Mark V Zeta helmet. I think that looks really cool and a nice little homage to the classic Mark V. And you also get a really cool Scorpion Punch coating at Tier 9. Now, if you guys notice here at the end, you get this helmet attachment which actually goes onto the mark 5 zeta helmet i know a lot of people are wondering during the tenrai event how do you go on ahead and get to those attachments well if you go to your armor hall then click on the helmet section and then go on ahead and click on it again press rb or whatever it may be if you're on pc there are your helmet attachments now, if you complete all of your weekly challenges, then you will also get a pretty cool looking visor called 355 Green Visor, which is technically, I guess, tied to the Tactical Ops event. Like they do with their previous events, the weekly ultimate will be tied to the event. However, in the store, the items are not tied to the Tactical Ops event like they were with the Tenrai event. You're not going to get anything exclusive here since this Tactical Ops event basically is for Mark 7 stuff. You can score those cat ears though if you want to go on ahead and purchase those. I call them bad ears, but you know, whatever. There is some cool stuff in the store, but like I said, not tied to that. Make sure you guys tune in next week for the weekly ultimate if you want to stay getting some stuff that's related to the tactical ops rewards. I'll have a video probably out covering that just in case you guys need to know what it is, see if it's worth your time because we all know those weekly ultimates can be hit or miss. Now, another quick note about the challenges. I wanted to let you guys know if you do decide to go on ahead and use a challenge swap on one of your orange banner challenges, yes do not fear you will get another orange banner challenge in the rotation there it won't just replace it with a regular challenge you won't lose out on a tier so technically you can complete this event this week you don't even have to play it for the two weeks because there are 10 challenges ready for you to go and like i said each challenge gets you one tier so 10 challenges equals 10 tiers and you'll be done with the pass now speaking on events and things like the fractures like the tenrai well we already have a look at next season's fracture event and the exclusive armor core that's going to be coming with it if you guys want to check out my video on all these season 2 content coming to Halo Infinite and not coming to Halo Infinite on May 3rd. You guys will see that card at the top right of your screen. Go on ahead and click it now. We got new maps and new modes coming as well as new cosmetics. But I want to know what you guys think about this event. Let me know in the comments section down below if this is enough to get you playing Halo Infinite again in case you were taking a break like myself. Been taking a break from Halo for a little bit. I still log on a few times a week but now not every day like I was before been playing the crap out of Elden Ring let me know if you're playing that as well because that game is taking the gaming world by storm pretty soon on the channel I'll be working on another map video walkthrough for callouts for anybody who's looking to up their competitive game in Halo Infinite that will be coming very soon and I did a poll on that and it looks like the community has spoken live fire will be the next map callout video so stay tuned for that hit that like button if you guys enjoy these news updates and subscribe if you're new here and you want to stay absolutely up to date on anything that's going on with halo infinite but until next time guys i'm your boy patman and i'm out